Good competition Tuesday today. I thought we had great energy and effort. Uh, I thought we had a lot of good competition. thought our guys did a great job of focusing on themselves and correcting a lot of mistakes that we need to correct in order to build this program back to where it's supposed to be. Uh, I look forward to, to watching the film and assessing it. And I uh, thought our leaders showed great leadership today. Guys like Frank Gore, Malik Shorts, Khalid Washington, Jay Stanley, Hayes Maples. Man, great energy and a great job, you know, of – putting the previous game behind us and focusing on the task at hand because we got a really proud program coming in here that's 1-0, and that played a really clean game one, only had four penalties, only had one turnover, blocked a punt. Uh, and, you know, they, 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 they've done a lot of great things over the last few years. So we got our hands uh, full, and uh, we've got to focus on us and the task at hand. What was the first thing that jumped off the tape from Saturday night when you watched it back for what you wanted to what see corrected? A, what a terrible head coach we've got. <laughs> we've got a terrible head coach, and that's being addressed. Uh, we got good kids. We've got a great football program in history. Uh, we're a program that's only won three of our last 14 games, you know, and uh, we are building it back day by day. Uh, I'm proud of our kids and our character. I'm proud of our staff, but we were a dysfunctional organization. That falls on me only. I can't imagine that that well with you over the last couple of days what was that like for you oh uh, not good you know i don't handle failure well uh, i'm not a failure i've been a winner my whole life i know how to win we know how to win as a program here again we are building it back we're not a finished product we knew we wouldn't be after that game whether we won or lost uh and and uh we are moving in the right direction what was the most important thing you had to address in practice there as far as you have to come in yeah, what a pitiful head coach we have. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's being addressed minute by minute with me. Do you expect much depth chart movement after that game and after today? Uh, I don't know. You know, we'll see on the tape today. Uh, we had some guys play really well, particularly on defense, you know, and, and, and on offense too. You know, uh, defensively, man, Malik Shorts played lights out. Jay Stanley played well. Linebackers played well. Uh, had some really good play up front on the D-line. Uh, and uh, offensively, we had some guys play well. We just didn't put it together. You know, we made great in-game adjustments, like we said. Uh, we drove it down the field, turned it over. We got to hold on to the football. You know what I mean? I mean, we have got to hold on to the football like our lives depend on it, because it does. Our football lives depend on holding on to the ball. Obviously, we worked on that. Again, we work on it every day. There's not a day that goes by that we don't spend working ball security, but obviously, we're not doing a good job of it. So, uh you know, we tweak some things, but we believe in what we do as well. It's worked for a long time, and uh, hopefully we shored up some of that today. Coach, was there a point in that game where you considered putting in another quarterback at, you know, in the second half? There was. There was, uh, you know, but when you go back and watch the tape, Trey played really well early. Uh, he, he, he did not run the ball well. He tried to run like a tough guy. We've been preaching toughness in this program, and I think he tried to overemphasize that he was a tough guy instead of wiggling on people. He's a better runner than that. But throwing the ball, he was good early. He was dead on, hitting people right in the hands. We had some drops. Then he had a lull in the middle, and then he bounced back and played really well late. Uh, again, I want to emphasize the interception at the end was not his fault, not even close to his fault, okay? And, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, Ty's a young man that's coming on. He's number two right now. And uh, we'll watch the tape from today and go from there. I have the numbers on, and I'll share it on the broadcast Saturday. But he's on his sixth head coach, if I'm not Trey Lowe is, and I, or six OC, maybe seventh head coach in his college career. Is that a part of maybe where he just needs some consistency? It was only his fourth career start uh, Saturday night for Trey Lowe. Yeah, you know, he did not play as bad as what everybody thinks, you know. And uh, if you come and watch the tape, there was a lot of things that people could have done to help him. Like I said, the last pick was, was was humiliating, and everybody thought it was on him. That's part of playing quarterback. But he had a perfect read. We were hot on an overload blitz. He makes the hot read to throw to the back, and the back don't look and catch the ball. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's not his fault. That's the running back's fault. And that's my fault for not coaching better. So, uh, you know, he, uh, he, he played extremely hard. He bounced back from extreme duress, and uh, he made a lot of big throws. He missed some throws. He missed some plays he would like to have back. And uh, we've got to get better at the quarterback position. I'm the quarterback coach, so ultimately that falls on me. Coach, could you kind of address your thoughts on the play of the offensive line, run game, pass yeah. game? Yeah. Man, I thought, you know, we played pretty good right there. Uh, again, you know, they've probably taken some heat from people, but some of those sacks were not their fault. Some of those sacks were quarterback's fault. Some of them were running back's fault. Uh, they were not O-line uh, fault. Uh, they had a good plan with blitz and linebackers every play. We handled some of it. We ran the ball well early. Uh, then we got behind and had to start throwing it a little bit. 
and uh, they took the run away. They rolled the eighth guy in the box all game long, which was a great plan by them. Uh, and and so, you know, but but our efficiency running the ball, if you you know you take the sacks away, which were not all O line issues, was pretty high. Coach saw on game day, uh, Bailey Brown wasn't on the game day depth yep. charts. Uh, was he out with an injury or? Yeah, uh, he was out with, with, with something he's dealing with. You know what I mean? And uh, we traveled the guys that we thought gave us the best chance to win the game. Specifically, oh. what do you expect from Grambling? Uh, a really well coached football program. Coach Fives, I've known him a long time. I've worked with his brother. A tradition rich program, much like us. Uh, you know, they had the COVID year last year, which wasn't a good year for them, but it was COVID, right? Uh, they had a great year the year before. They had La Tech beat two years ago. They played a really sound, fundamentally sound game one. And uh, and uh, they, they played one game, so have we. They played really well. We played in a humiliating fashion. So uh, right now they're a little better than us, and we got our hands uh, our, our hands full. Only one time in your head coaching career have you lost games back-to-back. What does it take for a team to overcome – you know, not letting that same loss beat you twice. Yeah, that's something I'm really proud of, you know. And, uh, you know, we, we're going to focus on us, which we are. And uh, we're going to uh, uh, honestly, brutally honestly attack what's got to be fixed, starting with me. And uh, we got to address those issues and get them fixed. And uh, I think we took a great step forward in that today. Anything else for Coach?